All right, so here's the thing, guys. I really hate these little marginal snowfalls where it's like, oh, should I be out there or should I not? It's just always so tough making that decision. And then you can see here, it's so spotty, like it melts in some places and others, it's there. One thing that makes our plow route particularly, particularly difficult is that we plow 20 miles, well, a little over 20 miles from home. So sometimes what I see at my house is not what's down here. So a little bit uh, further west of our place, it seems to get a little bit more snow um, on average. So definitely makes it a little difficult. Something to keep in mind when you're building the plow route, try to build it close to home if you're out plowing snow. So we're gonna get in the truck here. Got her all uh, shoveled and snow blown out. I probably wouldn't have had to use the power clear on this one, but I wanted to make sure that snow blower was working. So we're gonna get to plowing. Well guys, we are standing out in the Sherburn Wildlife Refuge. I'm on my way home from doing a few things outside the beautiful Monoman Trail here. If you guys are local and know where that is, that's where I'm at. So we're gonna be filming this. It's kind of peaceful out here. Before we get too deep in the snow plowing videos this year, kind of wanted to just briefly take you through uh, the main plow setup. I'll maybe do a more detailed video down the road with the, the Chevy with the straight blade and this truck will possibly, don't quote me on that, go through both the trucks in a later video. But like I said, before the season kicks off here, I wanna share with you guys what we're doing, what we're using. And this is our 2012 Ram 2500 heavy duty with the 5.7 liter Hemi. This is an eight foot bed, regular cab the best way to go for plowing for sure um let's just start here in the back and we'll work our way around the truck so in the back here we have the toro power clear it's the 721 e model the e stands for electric start but that's kind of dumb because you have to have an extension cord to uh start it up it has a pull cord on it as well which works just fine then we have our br 800 x backpack blower typically throw that in case it's super light fluffy snow that thing blows the snow right away and uh, it also works great for uh, I have some higher end customers that have railings they like those cleared away and quite frankly the BR 800 X does a phenomenal job of clearing railings. so here we have my favorite snow shovels this is the original snow plow dominator this is a scoop shovel we have two of those and then I have down here a 30 inch pusher, a snowplow. 
and a 24, I believe that one is. So I'm going to put those back. Those are very nice. I like the 24 inch. Works phenomenal. Wow, the snow is coming down right now. And I just got done clearing a bunch of it. That's kind of a bummer. On the truck here, we have Toyo Open Country AT3s, three peak snow tires. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, those are brand new to us this year. Absolutely loving them. On the front of the truck here, we have a new to us this year. Oh, of course, all this is new to us this year. I just purchased the truck, uh, and then separately we purchased this plow. This truck had not been previously plowed with. In fact, it's a pretty clean truck. I think it lived its first part of its life out in California, so very, uh, very clean truck. Couldn't be happier with it. Runs and drives excellent. This is an eight foot six Hineker V plow, and it's the older style, not a, a flare top plow, which would come up like this and angle down here. Kind of needs to be a little bit leveled. There's an adjustment screw here, which I actually kind of had to cut off to, needs to come down a little bit more. This piece should be level, so it needs to come uh, up in the or down in the back a little bit up in the front i had two bad cylinders one of them leaked uh one of them the rod was pitting so sent that down to central hydraulics popped a few new grade eight bolts in here because those were very worn out so i'm glad we got that taken care of but yeah all around just a great setup this thing is much more efficient than our chevy crew cab long a box truck with the uh eight foot straight blade the cutting edge is in fantastic shape and then i added the curb guards to the corners there which you can see here i'll i'll show you guys well a little bit of ice there but fresh curb guards those are a must if you're plowing so we did take and we did lift this truck up or level it put a two and a half inch Rough Country leveling kit added the new Rough Country Springs. Thing rides really nice. It's actually quite surprising how well it works. Been overall thrilled with it. And it keeps that truck, look at that, real nice and level looking, even with the snow plow on it. Guys, if we didn't have that in there, it would be really low in the front. We'd be really struggling to get over curbs but this lifts over curbs quite nicely we're gonna get in the truck here i'm freezing my hind end off sky is in the truck she comes she needs her daddy time we got a new red lab puppy her name is coda this is sky and uh they're a handful at home right now but this dog gets a little bit jealous so i like to bring her out what are you looking at me like that for? I'm just shooting them straight, you know? She's all like offended now. I swear she knows what I'm talking about. But all around, just a great truck. And then I bought this, uh, bought this cool strobe light on Amazon. Really inexpensive. If you guys are plowing, Make sure you got yourself a strobe light. I think this thing was only like 60, 65 bucks, something like that. Relatively inexpensive. You gotta have a, have a strobe light. But yeah, I think we're gonna button this one up. I'm gonna get on the road. So we'll finish her out here. Well guys, to wrap this one up here, I'm gonna read uh, a comment from the last video. If you guys feel like writing a nice comment, uh, maybe writing a tip. I'd be happy to read that out at the end of my videos here, my plowing videos. So we're going to go in. We're going to read a comment from Garrett Williams. This is in my last video. It says, I'd be worried about the old Chev if the check engine light wasn't on. Just like any Pete, if the check engine light's on, then you know she's running smooth. It's very true, Garrett. Um... I replied saying that uh, that engine light is is uh, the catalytic converter, but it is very true. Uh, just about any 
shovel popped uh, the check engine light. So that was a funny comment. Definitely laughed my head off over that. So if you guys would like your comment featured in the next video, be sure to drop one down below so I can read it off. Uh, I'll probably just pick one or two nice comments or like I said, tips, maybe something funny. I'm gonna read, pick one or two to read. So leave them down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.